Hello everyone, I'm geologist Philip Ong, bringing you guys a Kilauea eruption quick take. Uh, we are in the 16th week of eruption here, and there's only minor changes uh, as the lava is coming out of the west vent entry into the lava lake filling Halemomo crater. I'll show you guys a little of these details. And here's the west vent cone itself, and here is that entry point going into the lava lake. There's also a bit of lava over here on the southern side of the cone, and it's this margin, this crack area between the hardened lava surface and the old crater wall that lava is oozing through, not only in this area here, but also farther over to the north. This is one of three photographs released by the USGS, taken April 9th by Kendra Lin. And this one is before there's any change in the vent area right in here. You can see the lava is coming out through a crusted over lava tube and pouring into the lake at the entry point right in here. But there's a pathway that's very thinly buried by a crust of rock, uh, not unlike uh, a frozen river of water in the wintertime that has ice, an ice crust on the surface, but it's still flowing liquid beneath. Second photograph here, iterating forward. You can see that the original entry point resumed in a little bit is over here, but that part of this pathway has broken through its thin crust and is now a, a deeper, slightly wider channel flowing into the lava lake at this point in time. And it was about 3 p.m. and there's one about 4 p.m. This is taken from a different perspective, so we've, so we're, we've come around this way. The other view is a little bit more front on. So now the west vent cone is over here. And the original entry point is here. And we had a breakout all the way up to here, and it's crusting itself back over and is essentially zipping itself back up. And that's how we can see the pressure changes manifesting at the west vent itself. All right, we'll look at this in the time lapse. Once again, from the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. This is an F1 thermal camera. So the bright colors are the active lava surface. There's a few little islets, as they're called, small islands floating around and drifting on occurrence in there. The west vent only appears as small glowing holes right over here with the main entry point down over here. And I'll play it for you guys. Well, this is starting on April 6th. You can see that initial burst corresponds to this ooze up on the southwest margin of the lava lake. We have an overflow of the lava lake from its levee over here. It's visible as a bright spot. But we're also going to have another series of cracks coming in over here in this northern section with lava oozing up as well. And watch how that and the vent change at the same time. We have more changes at the vent than we're seeing the ooze ups, but, but certainly when you have a bigger burst coming through, like there it is, uh, you see it in sync both at the vent and over here to the side. So zooming in on a crack, you can see we have a crack that opens up a dozen ooze. A crack that does ooze in slow motion, that causes this block, the tip, and the lava lake spills out along that newfound gap. So we'll play it for you guys here three times and watch this block right here in the middle. Watch it tip second time. One more time. There it is. And that's one of the ways that the crust is lifting up along the edges and allowing the lava to ooze through. And at the same time, we're having zoomed into the F1 camera here in the west vent. We have these breaks in that pathway, allowing lava to come to the surface and make that surface channel as we just saw in the photograph. And this is the view from the S1 camera now. This is a visible camera. It's uh, kind of blurry because it's zoomed way in. Here's the west vent and there's the entry point and you're looking for the brightness coming through right in here. It's the new, new pathway breaking open. So that is it in the S1 camera view. You can see several pulses coming through. I'm zooming back out, you see a little bit here on the southwest side of that coincident ooze up, but we were zoomed in right in the area over here by the west vent. That's the last view. And that's the S1 camera, uh, day and night. There's that April 8th, which is the largest break out there. You can see a little bit in the daytime right in here. 
and a little bit of those patches of glowing ooze ups along the crater margin over there. Okay, this is two months ago, showing you guys the original event location right in here. And now we'll flip back to the more recent time. You can see it's offset to the north, and that's the change, the major change we've had in the last two weeks or so. And the pathway that's breaking open seems to be more connected to this northeast part of the west vent. And in fact, if we watch the original vent hole above the original entry point of the west vent, you can see it's still glowing brightly as recently as April 2nd. And it dims out, and this is not necessarily uh, the end-all, be-all, because it can come and go, it can glow and stop glowing. But it does seem like it's been decreasing in intensity over the week, especially uh, coincident with these pulses. And we don't see any glow in this area anymore in this nighttime thermal compilation only here. We see only activity in the eastern part, and that pathway seems to lead to that northeast sector of the cone. Okay, we're zoomed in here to the entry point for the last two months or so. You see that original vent disappearing and maybe a more merged pathway of lava coming in there. And now we're seeing these changes coming in later on as a result of that adjusting pressure and event. So what we're seeing is an evolution of that magma pathway that's below the lava surface now. And Certainly lava is coming in below the lava lake and it's filling the area underneath the entire crust and popping up along the margins in those ooze outs. That's it for Russian quickly today. Mahalo everybody.